Hello. So today we are going to learn about the muscle attachments of the radius bone. Yeah, here is the radius bone. So before moving towards its muscle attachment, first we'll roughly check out its surfaces and its borders. We know that it has three surfaces and three borders. So the surfaces are anterior, lateral and the posterior. And the borders are anterior, medial and the posterior. Okay, so we got it right and moving towards our first muscle, supinator muscle, which lies on the anterior surface. Supinator muscle is present on the lateral side of the upper part. Here. It is present on the lateral side of the upper part of the lateral board surface. You can see here is the present of, here is the insertion of supinator muscle. So moving on next, we have pronated teres. It is present on the middle part of the lateral surface here it is and the next we have brachioradialis it is inserted on the lower part it is inserted on the lower part of the lateral surface just above the stylite process here we have and the next we have flexor digitorium superficialis this muscle is originated from the oblique line yeah you can see the oblique line which comes arises from the radial tuberosity yeah so next we have the flexor pollicis longus it is it is originated from the upper two third part of the anterior surface yeah it extends from here to here the muscle name is flexor pollicis longus and the next we have pronator quadrus it is just below the anterior surface it is named as pronator quadrus and the main point I have to mention that the artery, radial artery, which is known for pulsation, is lie on the pronator quadratus. Yeah. So next we have the abductor polylongus. Now the muscles we have seen is present or originated or inserted are was from the anterior surface. So now we are moving towards its posterior surface. Yeah. So this is the posterior surface of the radius bone. So on the posterior surface, there is the first insertion of the muscle called bicep brachia. And it is present on the posterior side of radial tuberosity. Yeah. The muscle named bicep brachia it is originated from the posterior side of radial tuberosity and the next muscle we have is the abductor pollicis longus it is arrayed from the posterior side of medial surface so this is the posterior surface we know that and it is arises from the posterior surface of medial side here it is oh sorry so it arises from here and the next we have extensor policies also arises from the surface here. And the next we have 